Hi, welcome to Take a Break, Take a Breath for Wednesday, March 23rd. I'm Rick Boyer, the pastor of Prospect Presbyterian Church in Maplewood, New Jersey. And Take a Break, Take a Breath is an invitation for you to pause in your day, to just breathe and relax and center yourself in God who made you and loves you and calls you by name. Today, I'm going to record three podcasts at this place. Uh, this place is uh, Wildwood Crest, and I'm here for a little bit of um, work away from the office and the church. But it also fits this first story. The first story is of Jesus coming ashore on the eastern shore of the Sea of Galilee. So see, like that. Can you see that? And when he comes ashore, he this is a non-Jewish territory. He's confronted by a man who is possessed by a demon. Well, it's many demons, actually. It's a legion. 6,000 is how many are in a Roman legion with 6,000 support people around them. And the demons, the demons wind up going into a swine herd. And it's suggested that this story is really a story poking fun at the Roman occupiers and how much more power Jesus has, even than the legions, the armies that are marching around in the area. So if you haven't already done so, I invite you to go to a quiet place in your house and to settle into a chair, close the door in the room, close your eyes. Take a deep breath. And as you breathe in, breathe in the breath of God and as you breathe out, breathe out all that separates you from God. As you breathe in, breathe in the breath of life. And as you breathe out, breathe out all that does not give you life. As you breathe in, breathe in God's peace. And as you breathe out, breathe out all the things that disturb your peace. Your worries, your fears, your anxieties, all the things that need to be done today. Just let them go for a little while. You know, as you continue to breathe in and out, become more aware of God's presence with you. Sometimes a walk along the ocean side is what does that for me. As I see the waves coming one after another, the repetition washes away kind of all of the things that are separating me from God. And so it's, a right, it's the right place for me to be today to record. Imagine that as you are sitting there that God is washing away all of the anxieties and touching every part of who you are. Like walking along a shoreline and when you do so, you know, the, the tension just drips off the tips of your fingers and the tension just drops off the bottom of your feet. So, Allow yourself to relax in that way. Your mind gets calm as you, as you consider God's presence with you and your face relaxes. And your neck and your shoulders and your arms relax and all the tensions drip off the ends of your fingers and are washed away. Your back is relaxed your heart rate is slowed and your breathing stays nice and deep. Any anxiety and tension and upset that was in your stomach is going away. It's as if it's just you and nature and God for this little while. Your arms, your legs rather, are renewed and refreshed and the heaviness that you felt in your legs is going away.
then let your mind go back to a time, an ancient time, on the eastern shore of Gal Galilee Lake, the Sea of Galilee. It's non-Jewish territory and you can be in the boat with Jesus as they come ashore or one of the people on the shore or the man who is possessed by the demon, demons called Legion. As Jesus comes ashore and his disciples and he get out of the boat, they're confronted by this man. And very quickly, the people around him tell him the story of this man. This man can't be controlled by anyone. We have tried everything and he lives out here among the tombs. We've tried using chains and he breaks them. We've tried chaining him over and over again. We've tried everything we could think of to bind him, but nothing has worked. He just breaks it all and lives out here. The man cries out to Jesus, what have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Jesus says to the man, what is your name? And the demons respond, we are legion, for we are many. And then they say, do not cast us into the fires of eternity, into the netherworld. Let us go into that herd of swine over there. says go and the legion of demons goes into the herd of swine and they rush down the hill and as they're rushing down the hill they go into the lake and they drown and now the man is calm and relaxed some of the people run to the village and they tell everyone what has happened and soon the village people are coming out to see Jesus and they beg him to go away because they are amazed and awed and fearful of the great power that they see in Jesus. And so he goes back to the boat. But as he's going back to the boat, the man who had the demons begs to go with Jesus. And Jesus says, no, 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 no. Return to your former life, to, to your family and your friends and tell them and tell all of the people all that has happened to you. perspective of whatever character you were, did you notice anything different? What thoughts arose in your mind? What prayers are being called out of you? As you think about this story and the story of your life and the world around you, you have a chance to talk with Jesus before he gets back in the boat. And so the two of you sit and talk for a while while others prepare the boat to leave. I'll be quiet while you talk and I'll point the camera at the beach.
and then t the time comes for you to say goodbye those who have prepared the boat have finished the preparations and they're ready to go back across the Sea of Galilee back to their homeland and among their own people so you say goodbye to Jesus in whatever way is appropriate and you allow that image to move away to fade and you bring yourself back to the room where you are and then when you're ready open your eyes let's take a break take a breath for Wednesday March 23rd the reading is Luke 8 26 to 39 I invite you to read it a couple of more times uh, there's more details than I gave you in this verbal telling and to put yourself in the story in different ways each time that you read it between now and the next podcast of take a break take a breath if you have feedback for me or you want to talk or pray with me send me an email and I will make arrangements to talk and pray with you.